It is day 0006. You get to see my boy go out Jordan graduate. Let's go. No, but it's a Lenovo Chromebook yeah. 3. Yeah. What are you trying to get out of it? They're not truly monogamous. All of them. I'm always nervous that someone's walking around the fucking tent. Does anybody have a MacBook Pro? I booked these flights once I got here. I had $1,000. 27 minutes and 40 seconds. I don't have any money to put it in a fucking storage unit. <laughs> So I thought I was gonna get $130 out of that, but that went completely wrong because simply sex down my throat. What's this, you fucking piece of shit? What's good, you boys? I'm Jay Hattery, live direct agent, over another time. It is day 0006 of being intentionally homeless. Yes, sir. And I'm trying not to wake up and just start putting out fires, but that's what I feel I need to do because today. I need to not only figure out where I can put all of this shit because I can't take it on the flight with me because I don't have the money to do so, but I got a refund. I'm always nervous that someone's walking around the fucking tent. I got a refund that says completed in my cash app and it's probably not gonna take, it's taking another 14 days, so I got $3 in my account. I'm about to sell this Winolo. Fucking, ain't not Winolo. Fucking Lenovo laptop for like 250 Because that shit is trash. I can't do anything on it. I'm just going to do all the work I need to on my phone. Yeah, those are the two things that I need to do to figure out what I need to do next. And usually these projects take the whole fucking day. Because it's probably going to, I can't go to this Walmart. I have to go to the Walmart that's an hour away. And then, <laughs> and then figuring out what I'm going to do with all of this shit. It's just probably putting it right behind this building, putting a putting a plaque, uh, like some fucking trees over it, and hoping for the best. Cause I can't put it in a storage unit because I don't have any money to put it in a fucking storage unit. <laughs> uh, but I need to meditate and work out and get my mind right, drink some water, and get ready for my day put out these fires to see what I can do but because the reason I'm putting my bag away is because I'm actually already bought my tickets to go out and see my boy for his graduation my boy Jay Wade I already bought those tickets I knew that was gonna be in this financial situation come soon so I said fuck it I just need to figure it out that being the case I'm gonna see him for four days and Hopefully some money hits. I'm trying not to ask any of my boys for any money. I don't want to do that shit. But I mean, I will be making probably GoFundMe come soon <laughs> to support the content and the lifestyle that I have, even though I went on a month trip to Europe. <laughs> We're gonna see how that goes, but yeah. Let's get the day started. Day 006 of being homeless, 300. 59 days more to go to a million followers unless I don't I'm doing another 365 alright watch out days right right back Does anybody have a MacBook Pro in desperate need? Because this next journey is gonna entail a lot of hardships, a lot of, a lot of struggle, pain, and suffering. And I've understood that I am, don't value being understood anymore. I'm perfectly fine with that. And I also understand that insanity and success borrow each other's sugar. They're neighbors. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Much love, peace, bread, and I still haven't posted my past six days in Phoenix. Ah. My phone's at 69%. <laughs> but that meditation, oh my God. I was everywhere. My thoughts were flying around about putting out the fires on this laptop, 
it's gonna fly. Da da da. What what the fuck do I need to do next? Put I need to find a way where I can put all this because I can't take this on the flight. Just... <sighs> That's it. I'm realizing that I'm giving myself, my future self, the gift needed to show up on what I need to do today. That's it. Most people don't follow through on the things that they say they will or would or even take action on the dreams that they think that they could never do. And then they, they don't even take the chance to try. And so they fail by default. <laughs> And this is me trying. And not only trying, but I'm taking action, I'm taking the steps forward to maybe build on the foundation I've laid. I haven't started building yet. The foundation, mm, this shit's solid. This shit's getting fucking strong. It's just I haven't taken the action to start building my fucking empire. But I'm taking the steps needed. I'm showing up for myself today and that's a gift for myself in the future. Seven minutes and 40 seconds. <sighs> Maybe I make it a competition. Maybe I make it a competition of how fast I can take that down, build it up, figure it out. But time to see if I can sell that laptop, get cash for it. And then, what do I have to do? Figure out where I put this bag. Can I go right here? <laughs> Actually, this bag may be going top of that right fucking there because i don't have money for storage so, and then yeah i need to edit some content on my phone and probably can post a video asking if someone can send me a map macbook but yeah and then head to the airport i have my 5 a.m flight so we get there maybe early as shit maybe 12 and make it work yeah, you get to see my boy Gordon Jordan graduate. Let's go. I booked these flights once I got here. I had a thousand dollars, like twelve hundred or something, and it's all gone now. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I booked those flights already. Yes, I won't be intentionally homeless for the four days, but uh, that's why I counted. This is zero zero stay zero zero six of being intentionally homeless, and then it will start again. On the 11th, I guess you could say, being potentially homeless, 007. So, yeah. Bah, bang. Seeing that, I cannot take this bag with me on the flight because I don't have the money to do so. I've come up with the miraculous idea to leave my bag right here over on top of that. Great idea. And I'm going to leave a note. It's gonna say, if you find this bag, congrats. There is a tent, a nice rain jacket, three blankets, one is heated, blow up air mattress, USB pump. I've gone intentionally homeless for my creative dreams I have manifested and now taking action on. I believe everyone's story has a message which in turn has a meaning and a purpose. That's why I have started my personal brand at the Jungle Store. It is what I'm dedicating my life to. I have no money to take this to fly with me to see my best friend's graduation. If you find this, please contact at the Twin Story, Instagram at the J, and the phone number, Facebook. Thank you, much love, you spread. Do you think it'll be here when I come back? Let's see. Fuck. That's where your boy's putting it.
what do y'all think? Over under. That's there. I might get back in four days. Fuck. Beautiful day out too. Oh my god. And you know what? I think I think I'm gonna switch my homeless ratings and understand that it, it's it's intentionally homeless, right? And if I if I am just homeless, then my rating should go down, right? So if I'm doing everything I need to, I still need to understand this, but if I'm doing everything I need to and intentionally doing the right things to get to where I need to go and not struggling, that homeless rating needs to go up. But if I am struggling, that homeless rating needs to go down. So I would say yesterday, I think it would go down to 8.5 only because I had to take an hour and 40 minutes of a bus out here and then buy $100 worth of microphone shit. But I mean, I got shit done. So I mean, I guess that, that's what bumps up to maybe 8.7. But yeah, my first couple of days, it has to all be in the twos, ones, 100%. Twos, ones, maybe threes, three. But I'll put this at 8.7 yesterday. And I found, I found the place with ease in the back of this Verizon store, Verizon shopping center. So, yeah, I'm gonna get the day started. I left my bag back there and hopefully it'll be there when I get back. Y'all think? Got it. Yo, so I got one of these Lenovo. <laughs> so seeing that my ass did not keep the box with the serial number on it, I can't bring it back to Walmart. And even if I go to the other Walmart, they can tell me the same shit. I have $3 in my account. So I'm gonna go to a pawn shop. See if, see if I can make this shit work. <laughs> Fuck. Cause I gotta get enough money to at least get, fuck it, pawn shop, next mission. White ladies are crazy. That's the white ladies we need, the older ones. <laughs> no, but it's a Lenovo Chromebook yeah. 3i 3, 3 ID pack. What are you trying to get out of it? I mean, I bought it market price for like 250 right? Okay. And probably all the parts you can get out of it, probably. The, the screen, you can get at least 80 out of that. Processor, maybe 40. Probably for the storage, probably another 30. That's along with the memory, probably another 30. Yeah. So you're probably talking. $180 at least in parts to get out of that. So this is a notebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Right. Chromebook, Chromebook. I mean, it's a notebook. They just call it Chromebook because that's on Google. Mm -hmm. That's a company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a, a, you know, a notebook. So yeah, yeah. this is like for school or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't do like half of the stuff that a normal laptop or a computer normally does. No, 100%. Um, let me see. Well, I think if anybody's just coming in here to look at a, look at a laptop, that'll, yeah. that'll get, them, get them where they need to go. I mean, I think that'll be perfect for them. Especially if for however much you'd be selling for, unless you would, you would you sell this for parts or you sell it for the no, I mean, it's not broken. I only sell stuff for parts when it's broken. Okay, okay. No, no. I just I just got it two days ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it seems like you used to go anywhere from like 60 to 80 bucks, uh, fully it. working. Depends on like if the RAM and you know, if it's an i7, if it's you know, a touch screen and stuff like that. Or, yeah, so it just varies in the price. Like I said, it's just limited what you can actually do with this. So what, you guys would sell it for what, like maybe, what, a hundred, maybe? 100? No, I'll probably get, I honestly probably get like 80 bucks out of it. 80 yeah. bucks? There's one on eBay that you literally just sold for like 76 bucks with the mall and stuff like that. Then it's, just, it's more of a homeless laptop than anything else, you know? Yeah. Um, in order for me to make some money, man, I gotta give like 45 bucks. 45? Yeah, maybe 50 the most. And I tell you why, I don't even buy it. I can give you a loan on it. Though. You can actually pick it back up. Okay, what do you mean a loan? So you get th three months to pick it back up and I charge you some interest based on what I give you. Hmm. So worst comes to worst, if you pick it up in, five, in three months for $50, it's pretty cheap though. It's like $18, you better pay me on top of the 50. Hmm. So it's like roughly about 70 bucks you pay. What do you do on social media? No, I just make create content. Oh, just okay. about relationships, dating, a little bit about entertainment here oh, okay. and there. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this this will be fifty dollars, you think? Uh, yeah, you need fifty on it. Before you commit to me, though, there's another pawn shop. I, I hate sending people away, but there's another pawn shop right behind Cedar right in the corner, mm -hmm. like literally in the corner. Let's go down there and tell them I offer you seventy. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, we can just do it for yeah. 50. You can okay. take it. You want to pawn it or sell it? You're just selling it. You can take it. Yeah. So I thought I was going to get $130 out of that, but that went completely wrong because, I mean, a used laptop, especially one that just gets the job done, is going for maybe 80 bucks. And I think he blessed me with 50 honestly, and I thought I was going to get 130 out of it because I, I tried to chat GPT my way through that and sell myself through it and, be, and say, hey, there's $180 worth of parts in this. It's $250 marking price. You can probably get $80 out of, the, out of the screen. You can probably get 40 out of the processor and then 30 and 30 for the RAM and the storage. And he said, I know it sounds good, but no one wants to do that shit. And I don't, and I don't want to do that shit. And that being said, I'm not going to break this down anyways. And he had a bunch of shit in there. And I think he was trying to, he seemed like he was trying to help me out regardless. And so I got solid 50 bones so I can get some chicken at Walmart make it to fucking North Carolina to see my boy's graduation. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah. Until that $250 drops that's supposed to be coming in my account from the shit I stole my podcast shit. So, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I don't know if he was blessing me or not, but he ended up offering me some water and some, some Mexican food. And I guess I'm looking homeless as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No good vibes. One of the two. Fuck it. Fuck it. I gotta figure out what I'm doing next. I'd probably try to see if I can make some content and then, yeah, make my way to the airport. Get the fuck out. Ah. If I could tell you how that went in my mouth chewed in my mouth, down my throat, paws into my stomach, and how that has made me feel, sex, simply sex. That now we have monogamous societies, but because they're not truly monogamous, all of the desire is being outsourced towards degeneracy as opposed to having a society where a man is allowed more than one wife, for example, and then the degeneracy isn't needed. You don't need pornography and you don't need prostitution if you're allowed to have two, three, four wives if you're successful. And the point I was gonna make earlier is that in certain countries, this is still the case. And I'm just speaking here in generalities. I don't have proof for any of this, but if you look at Russia, right? Mm -hmm. Russia is a Christian nation. There's a lot of Muslims as well, but it's traditionally a Christian nation. But if you're a very rich, powerful Russian man, and I've been to Moscow, I can assure you, you have maybe four or five wives. Well, not wives, four or five girls. Yeah. And your wife understands about who the other girls are, and she doesn't really care. Don't look, don't care, don't ask. I have a Bentley, I have a big house, I have the children. He plays around with these other girls sometimes. I don't care, I'm his wife, and that's just how things are set up. That particular man who's very, very rich, He's not interested in pornography. He's not interested in prostitutes. He's satisfied. He has enough for whatever his ego desires or his heart desires. Then you look at the West and you look at the most degenerate things which can possibly happen, which are actually levels above prostitution and pornography. If you look at Epstein's Island, for example, mm -hmm. when you have very rich, powerful men and they're told by the public sphere, you're not allowed to have more than one woman, but they don't have God to control them. They're godless. Mm. Then they say, okay, well, how can I satisfy myself if God's not restricting me? The society saying I can only have one woman. I'm not allowed to have four or five, which would satisfy me in some regard for my ego or unhealthy reason or whatever my reason is. So I'm gonna end up doing things in private. I'm gonna end up doing things in secret. Mm. And then you have Epstein's Island appear. So it's kind of interesting. God is important and God is extremely required to restrict people. But if you take the God out of the element mm. and you only use society to try and restrict the sexual desires of people and tell them they have to be monogamous, you're going to end up with more degeneracy than if men were allowed to be poly polyamorous and have more than more one wife. Does that make sense? hundred percent. And the reason why I asked you, is this generation more evil than the last? And I wanted to circle back how you said the West is falling apart. Yeah. I believe that it's kind of, and I always go back to biblical references, not because Dudes are just leaning the fuck out now. Leaning out, fuck. We're by like 210 right now, maybe 205. See how much muscle I'll lose in the next year? <laughs> Guess we'll see. But right now, dudes are just fucking cut the fuck up. Not bad. I feel like I know how to flex my back. And I don't. <laughs> I'll be 
be lying to you right now if I said I'd be lying right now if I said that I want to take this cold shower or I want to make this video and I don't we have blood that's where discipline comes from doing things that you hate even when you don't feel like doing them do it like you love it this um. What's this, you fucking piece of shit? What's this? Huh? What's this, motherfucker? What's this? Huh? What's this? What the fuck is this, motherfucker? Huh? What's this?